我是美香，也是伊娃。我在我的生活当中呢，经常会碰到一些让我惊奇的人。那么这两位朋友呢，说实在的，嗯，一位已经见过第二次了，一位是今天才见。无论相处是一分钟还是三分钟，这两个人都让我印象深刻。我们知道这个时代讲究的是追求梦想，而这两位有非常伟大的梦想。首先要介绍来自印尼的 Yoga， 那么他呢最近正在。在积极的部署参选印尼的这个所谓的国会议员的职位，呃，但是他的人生梦是希望成为印尼的总统。还有一位朋友叫 Thomas， 呃，中文名字叫建瑞，他是新加坡人，英文讲得很好。不过我今天要求他用中文来回答。嗯，他呢问了他你的梦想是什么？他说他还在寻找，不过他希望在。这个地球上，在人类的社会上做出一点改变跟影响力。我们今天非常欢迎他们两位。Welcome Yoga. Thank you. And welcome Thomas. Hi. Um, I know now you want to try to run to the uh, MP some kind of this position in Indonesia, and this is your starting your dream, yes, right? Yes, right. Because you want to be a president of uh, Indonesia. Yeah, that's my aspiration. Yeah, I think. It will be make make it you will make it come true. Thank you. So, what did you do now to let the dreams come true? Well, uh, as you mentioned, that I'm currently running for the uh, office in the parliament. So, uh, although that my my goal, uh, my aspiration is to uh, to lead Indonesia as a president in the future, but. Uh, I need to do it step by step, one step at a time. So currently, I'm focusing my uh, time and resources to uh, get my uh, uh, short-term goal as uh, as an MP for Indonesians. So what I'm doing now is uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm aspired to uh, to represent Indonesians living overseas. Mm. Uh, so uh, because currently there are nobody. Uh, representing Indonesians living overseas. And we have uh, quite a number of Indonesians uh, around the world. Uh, besides Indonesia, we have about uh, 5 million Indonesians living abroad. Oh. Yeah, so that's a huge number. So because of this huge number, we have a lot of problems. And it's very uh, sad that there are no Indonesians lawmakers uh, sitting in the parliament to represent them and to uh, address their, their their problem in the in in, in the parliament. Mm. So that's why that's my hope and intention. So I want to start my journey uh, in the parliament to represent people uh, Indonesian people overseas. Mm -hmm. But you know you are very young, yes. and you don't have any uh, this kind of experience. You're right. So when you travel to even like a Singapore or Taiwan yes. or another country, how do you introduce yourself right. and met the people believe you? Okay. You are the right person. Right. Can help them solve their problem. Okay. First of all, I've been living in Singapore for about uh, ten years, so uh, I myself in the Indonesian diaspora. So I'm an Indonesian migrant workers for that instance. So uh, in, in in that sense, I, I can tell people that look, I'm young. You're right, but. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm incapable of doing what I'm doing. Mm. Okay, I'm actually the president of uh, Indonesian uh, student associations in Singapore. After that, I'm uh, elected as the president of, uh, president of the Indonesian uh, professionals mm. associations. Mm. Then after that, I'm elected as the Indonesian uh, 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 Indonesians forum association in Singapore as well. So uh, although I'm not, uh, I'm very new in the politics, but. Uh, I'm very capable of what I'm doing to, uh, in, in, in uh, getting the aspiration of people and leading people, uh, leading Indonesian people, especially in Singapore. So uh, being new, not necessarily uh, uh, equalize, equal to the incapability of doing to get aspirations. Being new means that I'm a f I have a fresh blood. I have yeah. a, uh, uh, I have a, a I have a clean slate to uh, start as a politician. So 
being new for me is uh, is an advantage because I can tell people that I, I have I knew that I don't have any relationship with the previous uh, political era, so I don't have the dirtiness of the politics that the old generation are uh, too much attached to. Yes. I think I think that's that's mm -hmm. my answer. But what is the, we want to know, what is the behind your dream? What did you do, prepare for this dream? Yeah, you have to prepare like uh, this time you want to be a PM of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. I think uh, a lot of things you need to do behind, we can, we, we can see what you would do behind the, 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 your dream. Mm -hmm. you, you need to prepare a lot of things yes. to chasing your dream, right? All right. Yeah. So uh, as, my, as I mentioned, uh, my, uh, uh, currently I'm uh, focusing my resources uh, in, in getting into the parliament. So okay. uh, actually now I already have like a team of a uh, campaign team and uh, it's led by uh, the campaign director. Uh, it, within this team, there we have like 100 people so, uh, and uh, they are they're spread uh, across the world, so not only in Singapore, but also in uh, Indonesia, yeah. uh, Malaysia, uh, Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, Europe, uh, US, uh, etc. We have uh, all the, uh, the, the, the country which has Indonesian population covered up. So that's one. Uh, secondly, uh, I also need to maintain my, uh, I need to establish relationship with the Indonesian politicians uh, so that when I'm there in the parliament, I, it's easier for me to uh, get in touch with them and also to uh, assure them that what I'm bringing uh, uh, into the parliament, what I'm uh, struggling for, the people in uh, Indonesian people overseas is in line with their uh, their concept and their 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 aim as well in the parliament. So mm -hmm. we can work together for that. So uh, well, uh, it's ongoing. It's ongoing process. Uh, and and I, I hope in uh, in the future and when I'm elected, I can really uh, inside the system, uh, be in the system and maintain my integrity because the challenge is huge. When you're in the system, sometimes you forget what, <laughs> what, what is your aspiration earlier, yeah. but that's, that's my challenge. Mm -hmm. When I'm in the system, that I need to be more, uh, is I need to be cleaner and I need to be more uh, have more integrity than the rest of the people, so that people can trust me. Yeah, I know our past uh, and now will affect our future. So, can you share us something about your young, uh, your story, mm. to make you be these people and have this kind of dream? All right. Well. Uh, I've always uh, been interested in the politics because I believe that politics is the way uh, of people to contribute back to the society. Mm. So uh, I, I was born in Jakarta and I was born in uh, 1986. It was still the Suharto era, which a new order, Indonesian new order. Uh, and uh, as you may know that Indonesia at that time was led by a military guy mm. and uh, it was quite uh, oppressing uh, at that time. Uh, so there, are no, there, there, are, there were no uh, freedom of speech in, in, that, in, in our country at that time. So uh, I, I, I grew up in that kind of situations mm. uh, and I see uh, how people is oppressed uh, mm -hmm. and how the Chinese are discriminated. Although I myself is not Chinese, but I feel for them. Uh, and there are a lot of injustice uh, happening in Indonesia at that time. So uh, I, 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 I talked to, I, I talk to myself and I, I, I decided to say that, yes, uh, in the future I want to do something uh, for my country. And uh, if I really want to have a huge impact in the system, I have to get into the system. And I really need to uh, change the system from within. Because mm. if you change the system from outside, it's not going to work. So, yeah. so okay. that's my, my childhood uh, mm. that, that, that create my intention my, uh, to the politics. So when I, uh, when I came to the high school, I came into the semi-military high school and it was, uh, it was quite an uh, experience for me because in this high school I met Indonesian people all over Indonesia. Uh, so I, I, uh, from there I, I know that wow, Indonesia is so huge and very diverse from, we have like uh, 17,000 islands and each island has their own uh, languages has their own uh, culture and everything. So, 
it's really diverse and I, 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 take, I, I, I told myself that if I really want to lead these people, I need to be uh, open up to their cultures and their uh, aspirations and their religions and all. Yeah, so that's how my, my, my aspiration towards politics yeah. came about. Thomas,你跟他相差四岁。嗯。呃，老实讲，我觉得很伟大，因为，嗯，真的要选择做国会议员的人真的不是很多，然后选择要做国会议员是一个，我我觉得是一个特别难的决定，因为第一你，你会放弃了很多
I'm basically reading about what I want to do. It doesn't really matter what I read. I just literally go to the library, pick up a few books, and just mm. just figure out more about what I want to know. And the second thing is I'm trying to learn as much finance as possible and know as many people in finance as possible because there's going to come a day where I'm going to have to make the phone call and have to ask people, like, I need a check to start this company, and here is, here is what you're underwriting for my for basically the business plan. And I'm telling you that this is a viable economic business plan and it's gonna save the world. So sign up for it. Mm. But you see, both of you are so young. Uh, a lot of people in this age, they will uh, have their uh, find a girlfriend, <laughs> maybe, uh, and dating. But two of you is so different. So later we will ask, what well, if you want to chase this dream, uh, what things you have to give up you have to face it. 好不好,我们待会儿就来看看到底他们为了追求他们的梦想牺牲了什么事情。从我们刚才谈话当中，你会知道，一个人要实现梦想，他必须要计划，他必须要去执行。同时呢，他必须要坚持这个梦想。那么我就在怀疑哦，这两位这么年轻，我看到很多年轻朋友都是礼拜六、
I have a lot of friends who who really encourage me and who really like like to support me and um, I have a lot of aspirational friends, friends who want to do what I want to do. Probably, I probably don't know too many, mm -hmm. but I have friends who who have very very big dreams, probably mm -hmm. like much larger than what I want to do. Mm. How the parent, your parents, both of your parents, uh, are they know your dream? What is your dream? Is uh, are they really know and what the things they do to support your dream? Oh yeah, my I I think my parents know my dreams pretty well. They support me pretty well. Um, if anything, my parents understand that I don't understand what I want to do. I just know I want to do something. So uh, I think one of the greatest supports my parents have is actually from like a very day-to-day -day routine thing. Uh, this is a simple example. So my parents know I wake up at 4 every morning. So actually this morning at 4.10, I was still sleeping. So my dad somehow managed to wake up and then he pulled me off my bed and was like, you need to wake up. <laughs> and he went back to sleep. Oh. Yeah, so that's how I got out of bed this morning. <laughs> So it's actually those little <laughs> nitty gritty things that make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, like in my opinion, like it, it's actually much harder. Mm -hmm. like it's it's easy for me to do what I want to do because it's easy because I like it. Like there's a passion for it, but it's hard for my parents because they might not understand, but they know that they're just doing it as a form of support. Yeah, I think this is all the parents like that. How is your parents? They are they know, uh, and are they do anything to support you or to help you? Yeah, uh, definitely they know. Uh, I mean, uh, actually, they 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 know that I'm interested in politics since I was young, because as I mentioned earlier, that uh, whenever there is a news about a politics, I keep pay attention to it and. Oh. My mom, when, when I first told my mom that, uh, mom, look, uh, I have this offer to run as a, as a, as a member of parliament, so uh, what do you think about it? Then in the fir uh, first, first reaction that she told me that, well, I always know that you'll be uh, into, the in, into the politics at some yes. point of your time, but mm -hmm. I never expected it's going to be this soon. <laughs> 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 so, uh, but after a while, after I explained to her that uh, what is my aspirations, that uh, uh, why I want to choose uh, this path now instead of later. She very supportive, and for me, my uh, me personally as a Muslim, uh, the blessing of my parents, and especially my mom, is very important because her prayer is is very strong for us. So yeah. uh, the uh, the prayer of the mother is is really really going to uh, to, to to change uh, the direction of my life. But you know, uh, when you want to uh, uh, chase this uh, position, you need money. Yes, you're right. Right, yeah. because I know in Taiwan, if you want to be an MP, you have to spend a lot of yes, money. Right, yeah. uh, I think the same thing in Indonesia, even in Singapore. Yes. Because we have to do a lot of uh, promote, uh, travel a lot, yes. and find the people. We have to pay their yes. salary. Yes. But you just resign your very good job in yes. Singapore. Yes. Yes. How, how to maintain it? <laughs> well, it's a very brave decision that I have done. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's actually a cal calculative uh, uh, move for me that uh, you are right that we I need to uh, to secure my, my campaign fund. So uh, for, for, for the campaign fund, I, I, I really... Uh, it, Actually, I have offered from many companies, big companies, to fund my, my campaign because they are, they know that my, my uh, campaign is for the bad, for the greater good for the people uh, overseas. Uh, then they they are willing to fund my campaign. But for me myself, that uh, I need to very carefully see that what are the uh, hidden intention be behind this uh, fun, uh, yeah. funding that they are uh, offering me. So I've been actually screening through many companies that are uh, giving me some uh, funding. So I need to, I need to see uh, re whether it's a really they, they're really intentionally good, mm. or they have the hidden, hidden agenda. Yeah, uh, Thomas, I know you are now in Singapore's university, right? You are in New York University. Oh, you are in New York University. Wow, how 
，这个书你会读完吗？<笑>因为我知道有很多有梦想的人是很不怎么介意学校的，觉得学校的那个学习对我的 future 是没有帮助的，很可能一半我就会。你会坚持读完吗？还是会像现在我们知道的很多呃伟大的人物哈，一半就离开学校 ，say goodbye to school， 得去找自己的梦想。啊，问到点了哈。嗯，实际上这个问题应该不，呃，不应该是我这个书会读完吗？是为什么我会开始去读这个书？嗯，还没去大学之前，我是想了很久，到底要不要去大学。然后最后呢，是呃，新加坡政府投资公司 GIC， 呃，出面给我，呃，给了我一个奖学金，是说我们供你去读书，你们你要去把这个书读完。所以我就接受这个奖学金，所以因为接受了他们，接受他们的奖学金，就是因为他们的奖学金，所以我才能去出去读书呢。所以应该是会读完，读完了也应该是会回来新加坡给他们，给他们呃、嗯、呃在 GIC 就是做工，给他们打工，呃、嗯、过后到底会发生什么事呢？那个我就不是很清楚。OK， 那最后想问你，这是给了你一双翅膀，还是把你的翅膀先绑起来？我觉得是给我一双翅膀，不是像像我刚才说了，嗯。有梦想，但是也，但是你也要去追求。要追求这个梦想的话呢，在做很多这些，你你需要一笔，你需要一些很支持你的投资家，愿意给你资金来，嗯，来承担，来帮你承担这个风险。所以我觉得进了 GIC， 帮 GIC 做工，为新加坡服务，到最后我可能我肯定会认识一群一群特别好的朋友。当我自己出来要、啊、自己自己单飞的时候呢，我觉得他们会出来支持我。嗯，好，我们今天非常高兴能够访问 Yoga 跟 Thomas， 呃，谈他们的梦想和志向。呃，我希望你自己的梦想，你自己的志向，你也能够努力的去实现它。Thank you for Yoga， 呃、uh, ，your coming， 嗯，还有 Thomas， 非常谢谢你们，谢谢。